everybody. So welcome to my first ever challenge video on Resident Evil 4. I'll be doing a lot of these. Most of them is inspired by the YouTuber Dante Ravioli. I'll be using. Uh, I will put his link down in the description. He's uh, it's actually a pretty good channel. Does a lot of good um, challenges. And you know what? we're gonna do our first challenge. And it's actually something he has not done yet. Can you kill the first chainsaw guy with the starting gun? See, I tested it out with the fully upgraded one, and it was too easy, since, you know, I, I, could, I could shoot so fast, and we're not going to do that this time around, okay? What are you buying? We're literally just going to buy the handgun. All plain. Just a plain handgun. That's all we need. Yep. You heard me correctly. All I'm using. What are you all I'm using. What are you buying? Is a effing beginning pistol. Now that must be extremely, you know, hard to believe. Like, a how? Okay, just how? Uh, and believe me. I. This whole video, I'm not going to cut it out and put it on a proof channel or anything like that. I'm actually going to go through it and show you guys how I did the things. That's the only problem I can say about Dante Ravioli's video. It's not criticism. I'll just get to the point and stop talking about this YouTuber, okay? Great channel, check them out. Um, so, here comes the first horrible step of this problem. Saving ammo. See, as you can see, I'm not such a knife legend. Okay, never mind. I, I guess I am pretty good at knifing. But what? But here's what we're gonna do. Well, let me f let me fill you in on the rules. So here's the rules, okay? I c I can I can use glitches since they are either added into the game or everybody can do them. Second rule: no cheats. I cannot hack. And I cannot use infinite weapons on this challenge. And and rule free. I cannot. I I cannot do. I I can ah. Uh, actually, I actually can't figure out rule free. I can't. Fine, I can say I cannot swear because I'm probably gonna swear like, at least once. So are you sure that on the rules? Good. Now let's just get now let's get started in a real video. Don't worry, I did help the doggy since I'm not a horrible person. You know, it's completely useless to me. Pathetic. But, we're still gonna go, go on with our merry day. Hmm? Oh yeah, time for the Nike strat. See, how to do the Nike strat, you aim, aim your striker right before, right before the laser pops up, you equip something other than it. And Leon can go 1.5 more f times more faster. So he can run as fast as you say bolt. And you can and this is not a good you can abuse. You can only do it once. And it it'll it'll just be like that. Okay. Hey to a minute. He'll knife faster. As you can see, he's going crazy with that knife. And that's really everything. He can also shoot faster and reload faster. So that's another upside to this. So we so we go inside and then we get a chat. I don't even care. I don't care about it. I already heard everything. I completed this game for like for like twenty times my whole lifespan. So or what we're gonna do to make this video nice and short for our first challenge? We just instantly run. We'll just just run into the house, and then after that, we do something crazy. Okay, we we, we waste all of our time to get off a railing and grab some handgun bullets. I know, right? Insane. And then I hear the chainsaw guy, so now I'm freaking out. I I think I'm gonna die until. Leon jumps out until so Leon jumps out of the window like a like some stereotypical superhero. 
and then the and then general tries to grab me I couldn't believe it so I get my striker do put put on my Nike Kyrie Kyrie's Texas then start to fight to hunt to chance my guy but he was friendly for some reason until I came near him and well and looks like you can actually do damage to him as long as you're quick about it and by the way reloading of this glitch can cause him and as you can see and oh my god this one I noticed it's actually working all this takes is just some nice maneuvers the only, my only problem is Richard kept on getting my way it's like he was trying to protect Dr. Salvador after all he's done and then I noticed a big issue I just ran out of ammo and I have to kill him before the time runs out so I run scrambling for ammo but listen I can't kill I have to kill him with the handgun so I I, I found Ho I, I find Jose and then I blast him and he drops money that's the thing I don't need right now I, I dropped two Mary Sue's then Dr. Salvador tries to protect his people so and I'm getting angry and I'm getting stressed they're like oh, the challenge is over but then I realize I realize something magnificent something great one of these doors one of these actually has a lock and guess what one of these have hand have handgun bullets and then the event Dr. Salvador breaks into the room but, like he's in some type of action movie. And then, and then Richard grabs me. And then I get really, really, really incredibly scared. But then I find out there's no ammo in, in the building right now. But and it, the worst thing is right now, on right now, I want a timer. So I have to kill this guy before the time runs out. So this is when I'm starting to lose hope in a challenge. I'm thinking it's not possible. Like it just keeps on getting worse. And then they keep on dropping healing items. And all this useless stuff I don't even need. That's when I realize this challenge is over. And I then I accidentally almost killed him with but listen he's not dead but there's no there's no sh there's no handgun bullets lying around but what if I told you there actually is lying deep beneath this there's some just ten handgun bullets that's gonna save you if my gun can even reload okay and then I killed him with only my handgun event for ch church ring bells so I hope you guys really did enjoy my first challenge I know it was definitely not flawless but I'm listen I'm not a professional at this okay so I hope you people enjoyed I'll see you in, in the next video goodbye